What's up? This is uh, the soda jerk. <clears throat> nah, fuck that. Okay, so I was looking online quite a bit and I couldn't find anyone who figured out how to rip models off of the game known as Whacked. And if you don't know what Whacked is, well, what the fuck are you doing here then? Anyway, so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need to get CXBX and if you don't know where to get that you can look that up I'm not gonna hold your hand through everything I'm just gonna tell you how you can do this uh, you're gonna need Ninja Ripper and then you're gonna need a uh, ROM of the game Whacked and pretty much what you do is you fire up Ninja Ripper You run it up the administrator, and you, for your EXE, you find where your CXBX is. That's your emulator, your Xbox emulator. And then, after that, you set this to D3, D9. This is for WACT specifically, uh, because the game came out in 2002. And this came out 2002 as well, I believe. But this is what works for me. So what you want to do after this is you just want to hit run. Then you go up to file. It'll launch your emulator. You go open XBE. You find where your thing is your ROM and you pick default XP and then you go up to emulation you hit start uh, one thing worth noting is check your settings make sure you know what your all rip key is I'm using control R because it doesn't use that and then you may want to get a controller because just makes everything easier. Just a suggestion. And it's going to take a minute. You're probably going to feel like nothing's happening. But you're going to get here. Where it's just going to be a flash of the screen. You hit start. You hit start again. Hit start again. Now you're at the menu. Now you can't see the menu as, as you can tell. But if you move, you can look at the bottom here and see where you're going. And what you want to do is go to single player. And then we'll do it as a new profile just to show you. It's going to take a minute. You can hit start here. And here's your characters. If you type, if you set your save file to be the words, if you set your save file to be double double one word, it's double double, uh, it'll give you all the characters so you can play as whichever one you want. Uh, so I'm going to do And then you're going to hit start again, and you're going to see the curtain. Now that you're here, now your screen's going to look really wonky as you're like moving around and everything. But all you got to do is hit your rip key. Your screen's going to freeze for a second, and that's going to keep going. Now you can close it. We don't need that anymore. Now you're going to try finding wherever your RIP folder is. And this is it. And now you have a bunch of meshes here that and textures. Uh, I'm using GIMP to open up these DDS files. And then if you downloaded the same Ninja Ripper I'm using, if you go to Ninja Ripper and Tools, 
you can use 3d max or you can use blender and you just export the folder and there's a plugin file the dot py and then you just open up blender and from here you go to file you go to user preferences add-ons uh, install add-on from file you locate wherever your folder is and you are then able to go to file import and at the bottom you should see ninja ripper you click that and it's going to bring you your directory and you just find wherever your rip files are so I go here and you can rename all these it won't change anything uh, now this is the part where it got confusing for me because it render or it ripped the uh, the map that you start in if you guys have actually played the game then you know what I'm talking about uh, and it ripped the character file so what I'm gonna do and probably hate myself for is I'm literally gonna go through these and select everything but there's like a master reason behind this and I'm sure there's a faster way to do this I don't know off the top of my head and quite frankly I don't give a fuck uh, I'm just showing you how you get these and if you want to do your own way of doing it, then you do you. Um, with all the uh, with all of the D the texture files, the DDSs, you'll find that a lot of it is mainly the map. But there is always going to be one file that's like a master uh, texture sheet for whichever character you're using. And it's up to you whether or not you want to unwrap the uh, the textures. Uh, I'm not too good at it, so I'm not going to worry about it at the moment. But once you have everything selected, you import RIP, it'll take a second. And now you'll see, you zoom out, you have the entire first level it's all rotate so if you hit one you'll see that like everything's on its side all you gotta do is just literally rotate it 90 degrees look around see where you're at and that actually was right sick okay just got a bit more and what you're looking for, if I mean, this is the entire first level right here. Um, I'm looking for Lucky. Where is he at? Oh, there he is. There he is. Um, so, something else that I've realized is that when you die in the game, uh, the mesh itself is not one piece and a lot of the uh, pieces of it um, when you die you know your character explodes um, and so it's a little bit of a pain moving everything around oh, shit. Uh, but you can probably manage better than I can But pretty much from here, all you want to do is just uh, get rid of pretty much anything that isn't what you're looking for. Uh, again, I'm positive there's a easier way to do this, but again, don't really give a fuck. There we go. Now I can actually see him. Uh, so 
So pretty much all I'm doing is trying to select him. Just so I can... Oh my god, okay. Uh, yeah. No, I'm a fucking dumbass when it comes to Blender, I won't even lie. Uh, but essentially, you have the model here. And all you gotta do is just... Uh, what I did was I just joined them together. And I'm sure, again, there's definitely an easier way to do this. Uh, but this is the way that works for me the best. So, that's what I did. And now he should be good to go. Yeah. There we go. And as you can see, now here's your character. And I'll run through the DDS things just real fucking quick, just so I'm not getting any kind of questions or anything. But pretty much it's a text. Uh, like I said, I'm using GIMP. You can probably get away with Photoshop, I imagine. Uh, yeah, that's not it. Um, it does take a little bit of digging, especially because the starting area has a bunch of stuff. But pretty much, like, this is all you got. You know, you just got to kind of burn through them. And then, like, as you're digging into them, you can rename the ones that you want to keep and the one, and then delete the ones that you don't want uh, just to take better care of everything. So, yeah, that's how uh, you get a character from Whacked onto your into Blender. Uh, yeah, so I hope that clears up confusion because I spent the last four fucking days trying to figure this shit out. Uh, so yeah, uh, peace out.